Panic buying has been on the rise amid the global spread of the new coronavirus. Store shelves nationwide are dwindling or totally empty. Panic is never a good response to pretty much any problem. Well, this is just unnecessary. Go on Forbes.com, Forbes magazine. It's doing a big story about my pizza franchise. Oh, fantastic. Wait, so is your, is your pizza chain still operating uh, despite all this? Look, unless they shut us down, we will be serving pizza, that's for sure. Hi there, I'm Aria. And like many of you out there, I am not a fan of the idea of being infected by the coronavirus. But as the World Health Organization officially declares the coronavirus outbreak as a pandemic, there's obviously a lot of information and misinformation going around. So I wanna to get to the bottom of all this for those of us out there who just wanna hunker on down safely. The panic outside is real. We all gonna die. <laughs> okay, okay, we're not all gonna die. I'm not really scared of the coronavirus. I think the, the panic is too much. I have no idea if the panic is justified at all. You know, we gotta be mindful of what's going on, but obviously you don't wanna pan panic anybody. The craziest thing is that all the numbers that we hear are, who knows what of it is real and what of it's bullshit. Naria, I've never witnessed anything like this in my lifetime, and I'm 68 years old. I'm not too worried. I, what I heard is that black people are immune, so I, I'm like, I'm part black, so I um, should be fine. But 52% of me is worried. <laughs> it's natural, of course, that during a time like this for panic to set in, but at the same time, unnecessary panic can make things a lot worse than they actually are. So Jack and I are gonna set out today to make ourselves a little home essentials kit based on suggestions by well-vetted sources, as well as to see how things are like out there in the wild. There's a lot of information and misinformation in regards to what one should actually be stocking up with at home. Regular household detergent or disinfectants are good to have in such a kit, as well as hand sanitizer, which has at least 60% alcohol. And so I think those are the three primary things we're gonna try and find today, along with any other goods. My home kit would be a bottle of tequila. I think with a little bit of CBD. Maybe some, some turn napkins for the girls. That's about it. Girls? Yes, pads. They're oh, called oh, sanitary oh, napkins. For, for periods? Yes, for period blood. Oh, uh, yes, 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 yes. So that comes out of you. Yes. And I just hope the Call of Duty servers stay alive. I also want to take a moment actually to clarify the difference between being self-quarantined or practicing social distancing. Social distancing is what's being practiced by a lot of us that are being told to either work or study from home. But someone who has been told by medical authorities for any number of reasons to stay has been self-quarantined. But I think what's happening is that some people get very panicky about this idea of working or staying from home and they feel like they need to stock up on everything. Customers are cleaning out store shelves. Items like toilet roll, hand sanitizer and pasta are now increasingly hard to come by. You don't have to buy so much, take it easy, just relax. It's absolutely ridiculous that so many people are running out right now to buy so much extra stuff. People are hoarding toilet paper. Stop going crazy and buying a whole bunch of toilet paper. You can always wash your ass in the shower. I've even heard some stores are like having to limit how many people are getting because I'm sure people are like getting, they're like, oh yeah, I need 20 f***ing hand sanitizer bottles because I'm gonna be locked in my house for three months when like that's not the case. And we're pulling up into the first store. I think an office supply store might be a good bet for hand sanitizer because they have it for like school kids and I feel like people are like going to Target and Walmart for this. They're not thinking about uh, the supplies. See, this is this was Jack's idea, so let's let's see what they've got. Yeah. Uh, here's, here's, here. All the hand sanitizers out. Oh boy. <laughs> All the mega rolls. Wild. All right, well, on to the next door. Well, we had no luck uh, there. Nope. Now we're at a pharmacy. All right. Oh, uh, well, it's... No luck here either. On to the next. I posted a story earlier asking people for any tips on where we could potentially get some disinfectant or hand sanitizer. Department store, we'll check out the department store. Walgreens, we'll check a pharmacy. The dark web, funny. Staples Office Depot. A lot of different suggestions. We're just gonna keep trying uh, around LA, I guess. We're now at another pharmacy. Still no luck. All disinfectants uh, and hand sanitizers are sold out. We're seeing a lot of people walk out with lots of toilet paper and paper towels. We are at a supermarket right now, and once again, everything is sold out. Um, you know, 
The thing is, this section here, it's not even disinfectants or hand sanitizers. This is just paper towels, toilet paper that people are just seem to be stocking up in bulk as if we're coming up on an apocalypse or something. Panic is never a, a good response to pretty much any problem. So if you're walking through the bush in the Serengeti and you come across a lion and you panic and run, that's probably the wrong response, right? Become informed and get it from a credible source rather than from social media or your friends or your brother's mother's cousin's doctor kind of thing. We're here at this Asian pharmacy. We did find this kind of wet tissue, which I think is supposed to be kind of like a disinfectant, but I don't think this actually would be good because it's not on a list approved by the EPA. We'll put a link down in the description below of a list of disinfectants approved by the EPA that you can buy if you're able to find them. And out front they have a sign that says they're sold out of face masks, which they actually shouldn't be to begin with because we should not be buying out face masks. There is no benefit to walking around with a face mask on. It will not help you at all. As the public goes out and buys up all these face masks, what it means is that when doctors and nurses need face masks to take care of sick people, they won't have them available. So that's a direct impact where hoarding is going to make it more likely that the virus spreads. Yeah, people are panicking. Jesus. And this isn't even disinfectants or hand sanitizers. This is like people buying out paper towels, paper plates and napkins and facial tissues. Also, on another note, this is disgusting. Don't litter. Unlike natural disasters where people stockpile food, there is no anticipation of any kind of shutdown of electricity or water, so there's no need to kind of stock and hoard so much product all at once. You know, it doesn't even last long. What, are they just going to chug these gallons? I guess people want every type of pasta but rotini. Even when it comes to food, there's no need to just focus on buying canned goods because since utilities aren't expected to be interrupted, you can still buy fresh or frozen food, you can meal prep food, delivery may still be an option for you, so there's no need to go out and stock up a huge amount of food as if you're going to be going into a bomb shelter anytime soon. Rather than hoarding and trying to figure out, okay, how do I protect myself, if we kind of all realize we're in this together and we help each other out, we have the best chance of getting through this with the minimum amount of disruption. Well, we just spent the whole day driving around in LA traffic and we didn't get our hands on any type of disinfectant, detergent, or hand sanitizers. But I think one of the biggest takeaways from this day is actually just seeing in person how these stores are just selling out of goods that may not necessarily even need to be. There is a big difference between being cautious and preparing accordingly, as well as just panicking and hoarding. I think the only thing you need to focus on is having the essentials at home. Just don't overdo it. You just buy what you need because hoarding really can put other people at risk. And with a video like this about a global issue like we're dealing with, information will be changing and coming at us rapidly over the course of the next few days, weeks, months. So all we can do now is just take things day by day, try not to lose our heads, and just support each other through these times. Look out for each other. We're all in this together, and if we take care of each other rather than focusing on just protecting ourselves, we'll come through this in the best possible way. Slices Pizza, I'm telling you right now, I'm from New York, I know good pizza. One of the best pizzas you'll ever taste. Take it from me, mob guys know food, I'm telling you, and I know good pizza. Slices USA, that's the name.